I guess the number one thing I'd want to tell a sister going to Jean Pessoa is well, I mean, you have to realize that it is really, really hard. The missions are, I mean, everybody says that and you don't realize it until you're actually doing it. Um, so you really have to know before you get out there that this is what God wants you to do. Because um, if you know that, then when you're in the middle of your first transfer and you can't speak to anyone, you don't know what's going on and it's crazy and it's really hard, that you can be like, but I know this is where I'm supposed to be, without a doubt. And then that's how you get through it. Um, and then it does get better. But if you don't know it, it's a lot harder. So find it out now, it's a lot easier. <laughs> and um, so that's number one thing for sisters. Um, also, but definitely, um, if you do know that God wants you to do it, then it is the best thing you'll ever do. Um, and I think for me personally, I just needed a mission and that it made a big difference in who I am and in my ability to do the rest of my life. Um, it just taught me a lot of things that I really needed um, for my life. Um, and I think that's what it does for most people. It just kind of, whatever it is that you are lacking or needing or need to be more moderate in or whatever within your personality, your mission will just hone it out of you. It, it will, I mean, you're not like you come back perfect, but everything is improved. Um, and you're, this, you're who you are, but it's just a better version at the end of it because you really are put through this fire. And, um, and it's just such a hard and really, like the task you're given for you is literally Im like impossible. <laughs> and it's, and so because it is so impossible, you are just forced to rely on God because He's the only one who is capable of doing what you are called to do. Um, so it is, you're forced to just become really close to Him. And it is the most wonderful thing ever. Um, and you just have to learn how to keep it <laughs> and not let it go away when you come home. Um, and yeah, and you just have you learn to be so open and loving, and those people in Brazil are so easy to love. Um, sometimes they drive you crazy because they can be flaky, but but they are just but they're smiling the whole time, and you just have to love them. <laughs> they're wonderful, wonderful people, and it is just going to be the most amazing experience ever. And I know that this is the true church, and that's what makes it doable is is knowing that and being able to go out and declare that to everyone because you know that it's what they need and it's what's going to make the difference. Um, yeah. Name Jesus Christ, amen.